Alright, just figured I'd make a quick video to show everybody how you can remote control or remote manage to a certain extent your desktop PC using Steam and home streaming. Up here you have games. Add a non-Steam game to Steam library. If you click on that, plenty of things that aren't games pop up. Some programs work for this, some don't. But what I do is use WordPad. You can see my remote PC right there, just sitting at the desktop. Stream WordPad. Sometimes it takes a while. Oh, it started nice and quick this time. Sometimes it'll give you trouble and it just refuses to start and drops the stream. So there it is there. You can see the taskbar exit and minimize buttons here you just can't see it but it does work get yeah, close enough to see that yes so minimize button is kind of right there bam there's the desktop if you need more proof there's the steaming or streaming statistics. So F6. See all that good shit. And if you do want to use it for streaming some games, you don't have to go back out and stream the game. Just open up Steam directly. Okay, let's play some Evolve. As long as WordPad stays active and at least minimized. You're good. Unless you have some sort of crash or something, then yeah. And uh, you don't want to try to open up Task Manager. When it's open, it'll lock up, and you'll have to actually go to the desktop and close Task Manager. Uh, MSI Afterburner does the same thing. Uh, what were some of the others? Oh yeah, AMD's Relive Overlay will pop up, but you can't interact with it. Unfortunately, that sucked. And the audio is streaming to the laptop, but I could easily just turn the audio back on on the desktop if I wanted my stereo speakers over there that you can kind of see. I want those working, but whatever. Oh, I don't know this ain't going to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go already. I think there's enough proof to show you that it'll work for the game. Just get past this sign in that's gonna fail like it always fucking does because I don't support this game anymore because it was a flop. Fun game, but it's not perfect. Oh, it really makes me wish I would just edit this video. Because, goddamn. you like to retry no what the fuck don't just no quit you son of a whore I said no I did not want to fucking retry no this will be a short video fast upload go away go away don't make this difficult I don't want to press Alt F4 because then I'll, that'll shut the stream because I'm pressing it on the laptop. Most likely it would go through and close it on the desktop too, but then I gotta reopen, gotta restream WordPad. And, God damn it. Steam just needs to make this a feature. Just add stream desktop to your options for Steam and home streaming. Just, just please, please do that. No. There we go. Exit. Yes. About damn time. What the fuck? What the hell? Oh, you son of a bitch. Don't fucking do this shit to me now. 
any other time this worked fine. Now it wants to be a bitch. Alright, hit the Windows button to get out of that. Just hit this again. Stream work dead. Work. Fucking work. Do it. There we go. You fuck. Normally that didn't cause that problem. God fucking damn it. But yeah, it's, it's all there. You play. Yeah, I, I don't want to see that shit. Let's delete that shortcut. Bye bye. Just installed all those games on Steam so it don't matter. But yeah, that's uh. Settings. System. About. Yeah, nothing too crazy, but. An I3 and. Yeah, yeah. Get to a. Keep forgetting Windows doesn't want to show my GPU, so. Some of this is to blame on my slow as fuck hard drive. Hardware. Just because. Alright, this video got long enough. Well, fuck it. For those interested, Chrome always seems to work just fine. Twitter and shit. Retweets. Yay. Oh, yeah, it's Friday. When is going to be on? I have to actually try to catch that live now. See, still remote controlling. Same shit up there. And it's not HDMI. That's the charger for this phone. That's power. That's Ethernet for the stream. No HDMI. So, yeah. Alright.